Hi, this is Sandeep again. Uh, today I'm here with the car issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the brake pad and the brake discs. Um, so this is Honda HRV 2016 model. And on this video, I'll show you how to change the brake pad and the brake disc of this um, <coughs> car. So normally, when we change the brake pad, uh, we have to change uh, on a both side. So let's say um, on this car, I'm changing all four. So I already done front two. So I change front two brake disc and the brake pad. And now I'm going to do the rear one. So the first thing what we need to do is, you know, just uh, we need to uh, jack jack the car and 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 be sure it's safe uh, you know, when you do the jack just make sure this uh the surface the, you know uh, where you're going to jack is really solid and make sure your jack is good in good condition if you don't know how to do how if you don't know how to do it just leave it take it to the garage and let the professional do the job but if you know what you are doing this is the right video so the first thing, jack, you know, I already loosened this thing, so I'm going to take this thing off. So the wheel will come out first. So I already took the wheel off from here, so you can see. So this is the brake pad and this is the discs. So I'm changing this thing is, you know, uh, this the thickness of this brake disc is is almost minimum um, to the uh, defined you know depth um, so to take this thing first so this is the rear it is a bit tricky on the rear one than the front so here on on the disc you can see one screw in some of the car you can see two three four but on this car you have one screw and it's, it's really tight <coughs> so um, you know do the screw first before taking the brake pad take this thing off you know use WD-40 uh, just use hammer or you know if you have a um, air pressure hammer or you know like a hammer SDS drill whatever you know you can just tap tap here WD-40 and just try to take this thing out once it's been out take this uh, brake pad off so you can see two nut here one here and one here then it will come off and then after you can change this thing so I'm going to start and I'll show you oh, what I have is a screwdriver like this and the bit so it goes here then like this and then I have a ratchet which goes here then I'll just undo this screw I'll try to undo I already applied WD-40 so let's see so I already made it easy so you can see it's off so I know I can take it easily now I'm going to take this brake pad off you know break this caliper everything off from from this stick so I can I can take it easily I have already taken the knot from here so I'm going to take this one as well so I can have an excess uh, for this knot so this knot from here and here the bolt is out so this will come off okay to take this thing out uh, what we have to do is we have to undo the parking brake you know the um, a handbrake so handbrake is released so this will come off and make sure your wheel are properly waist before this job otherwise your car will roll and that leads to a really major accident 
I'm using two hands to take this thing. As you can see, this thing is out. So I just put it on the side. Now I'm going to do this bolt, that one and that one. So this can come off and I could take this thing easily. Yeah, just be sure, you know, the car is safe. It's properly, the wheels are properly voiced and it doesn't move anywhere. So this nut been taken out and you can see this is fully off from that. So I have easy access. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this screw off and this one will come off easily. Sorry, I'm, I need to use two hands. So you can see it's been off. So I'll just repeat the process in the reverse way. So I'll put the new dicks in then I'll screw then that on padding caliper I'll just install the caliper back on and I'll reshape the electric brake new brake padding and did the screw so I'm going to do the brake pad now